This year's July is the hottest month in the world in recorded history. This year's July is the world's hottest month on record and possibly the hottest month in 120,000 years. The average temperature is about 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial average, according to an analysis published on Thursday. Although July is not over, there are already data available, which show that it will be a record-breaking hot month on a global scale. Global temperatures have been so far above average every day this month that a record is imminent. The average global temperature this month is expected to be 1.3 to 1.7 degrees Celsius above the July average, calculated from the 1850 to 1900 average. The average temperature will be 0.2 degrees C higher than the previous record. The infamous record was last broken in July 2019, according to an analysis published by Dr. Karsten Haustein, a climatologist at the University of Leipzig. Dr. Karsten Haustein estimates that to look for a similarly warm month on Earth, one would probably have to go back to the Eemian interglacial, which occurred about 120,000 years ago. Years ago. However, because paleoclimate temperature records, so-called climate indices, do not provide sufficiently high temporal resolution. We cannot say with certainty whether there was a warmer July then, the researcher comments in his report. The scholar points out that the current record is recorded during El Niño. This cyclical phenomenon is associated with the maintenance of above-average water surface temperatures in the equatorial zone of the Pacific Ocean. Dr. Haustein points out that the effects of El Niño do not become fully apparent until the second half of the year. Therefore, June, and now July, is likely to be followed by another record-breaking warm months until at least early 2024, explained the scientist. But he points out, the primary reason we're seeing records like this is because humans continue to release huge amounts of greenhouse gases. We are witnessing a temperature record that breaks the ceiling once again. The increasing temperature in the world is also the growing pressure of climate change on people and the environment in Poland. Let's get ready for the next records. Because they will pose more and more challenges to us, commented agrometeorologist Dr. Hab. Bogdan H. Hoynicki, Professor, Poznan University of Life Sciences. 
Dr. Zachary M. Labbe, a climatologist at Princeton University, reminds us that for decades scientists have been warning that the rapid rise in temperatures is related to man-made climate change. The effects and consequences are being felt by communities and ecosystems around the world. If we don't reduce greenhouse gas emissions, heat waves will get bigger and more dangerous, he comments. According to GSCC representatives, Record temperatures were observed this month in various parts of the world. Death Valley in the U.S. recorded the hottest night on record. The highest temperature in Africa was recorded in Algeria. China recorded the highest temperature ever recorded. Phoenix, USA set a record with 21 consecutive days above 43.3 degrees Celsius. And the Antarctic ice sheet is record thin for this time of year. According to the IPCC climate panel, to keep warming in check, Greenhouse gas emissions must peak by 2025 at the latest and be reduced by 43%. By 2030, the UN stresses the need for more stringent targets and plans for major emitters at the COP28 Climate Summit in Dubai. United Arab Emirates later this year. Some sea snails can discard their entire body and grow a new one. Japanese scientists have discovered two species of sea snails that have very well developed regenerative abilities. These mollusks can deprive themselves of the entire body, including the heart and other vital organs. All they have left is the head from which a completely new body grows within one to three weeks. Many species have the ability to regenerate certain parts of the body. Many small reptiles, such as lizards, have the ability to regrow a tail. Recently, it also turned out that young alligators have this ability. Among the animals with regenerative abilities, the Mexican Ambystoma, Ambystoma mexicanum, also known as the Mexican axolotl or Mexican salamander, stands out. It has the ability to regenerate almost every part of the body. Losing a limb, an eye, part of a heart, or even part of a brain is no problem for her. Organs and limbs grow back. Now researchers have found more creatures with amazing abilities in this field. These are two species of sea snails that can lose their entire body, including the heart and other vital organs, and a new body grows from their heads. 
This is one of the more extreme examples of regeneration. Its description was published in the journal, Current Biology. The discovery, according to scientists, was accidental. Sayaka Maito and Yuichi Yusa of Nara Women's University in Japan and their research team breed snails of the species Elysia cf. Marganata and Elysia atroveridis that naturally live in Pacific waters. Scientists are studying their life cycles. One day, Maito saw with her own eyes one of the snails shed its body like a lizard's tail. Only it wasn't just the tail, but the whole body. What's more, the head, separated from the body, moved by itself. We were surprised to see the head move just after autotomy. We thought that the head would soon die without the heart and other vital organs. But here we were in for another surprise when it turned out that the snail regenerates the entire body, said Mito. Scientists decided to investigate what was going on and discovered an astonishing process. The head, separated from the heart and body, moved on its own after separation. Within a few days, the wound on the back of his head healed. At that time, the head was feeding on algae. It took her about three weeks to regenerate her entire body. During the observation, scientists even noticed one individual that grew a new body twice. Observing these peculiar snails, Researchers probably noticed regularities. The headless bodies did not regenerate, but moved and responded to touch for days or even months. Interestingly, the hearts in the headless bodies continued to beat until they began to decompose. On the other hand, the heads of older individuals, after abandoning the body, did not feed on algae and died within 10 days. Why do snails reject whole bodies? Hard to say. Perhaps this is an attempt to get rid of parasites but there is no certainty. Perhaps this is another example of autotomy, a reaction to a threat, in which an animal in danger disposes of parts of its body, like the previously mentioned lizards, which drop their tails when fleeing. But the snails in the lab were safe. And they still stripped of their bodies. Although here this reaction could have occurred in response to environmental conditions. However, more research is needed to be sure. The concept with parasites is not unfounded. All the mollusks grown in the lab were parasite-infested, and the newly grown bodies were parasite-free. In addition, snails that were not infected with parasites showed no body abandonment. 
and those that only had parasites in specific parts of their body seemed to somehow digest the infected parts and grow new tissues in those places, releasing themselves in this way. Way from unwanted guests. How do mollusks regenerate their bodies? This is also unknown. Scientists suspect that at the severed end of the neck there must be cells similar to stem cells that are able to regenerate the body. Another important question is how can the heads of sea snails remain alive, detached from their bodies, which after all contain their hearts and other vital organs. Researchers think it may have something to do with the way these snails generate energy. These mollusks are able to use foreign chloroplasts obtained from food, i.e. from algae. This phenomenon is known as kleptoplasty and enables them to photosynthesize. This is an alternative way to obtain the energy needed for life. This, stealing, of chloroplasts is only temporary. The snails must constantly replenish them by eating more algae. Scientists believe that the ability to photosynthesize for a short time could keep the heads alive long enough for them to regenerate. This would also explain how bodies are able to move for so long.